welcome back to Kim's Creations. I have stuff in front of you and I thought I would just experiment. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do, but I have a bunch of leftover paints for the bloom technique and I think I'm going to do um, a layered cup. I think I have this canvas here, which is, um, it's not a back, maybe it is. I think I got it, yeah, this is a, I think a level two canvas, level two, level three. It's a, it's a canvas that I got at Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna use this, cause it's pretty big. I'm gonna layer my cup with these paints. And I'm either gonna do a straight pour or a ring pour with it onto the canvas. And then I might do some swipes with it. So that's the plan. I'm gonna get you up and we'll start layering my cup. All right, let's get you out a little bit though. There. So I did uh, spray the back of my canvas with some water to get it all nice and tight. And I think I'm gonna start with the green gold. And that's Golden's green gold. Next I'm gonna put Artist Loft level three, um, what is this, yellow orange azo onto that. Already making a mess. And then I have um, Lumiere's Halo blue green, what is it, green gold? Blue gold. <laughs> I don't think I had any of that right. Save a little bit of that. Then I have TLP Lakeside. Those will go nicely together. Followed by Liquitex Basics Prism Violet. don't usually do cup layering with teeny cups like this, so my stick is getting in the way. This is one of my new favorite TLPs called Grenache. And I'm going to top it with PBO Studio Acrylics in Iridescent Violet Blue. And then I'm just going to go back and finish them all off. I think I'm going to put a little bit of the Lumiere as a layer before I add that golden green gold over that pink. Finish that off. I'm going to put my gloves on. Here's my layered cup. Hopefully you can see from the side. Looks pretty good. And I'm gonna put a little bit of a, a base down, a little pillow to pour on. Ooh, lots of bubbles. I did have to stir it quite vigorously. I'll do a combination of both. So I'm going to start as a straight pour. Here we go. I'm doing a straight pour. Just the very, very end will be a ring pour. A 
a little mini ring pour. There. Done with that. Let me get a skewer. This is going offside. Just want to fix this. Because that center is going to get really big, so definitely want. Wow, the colors are pretty, pretty cool. A lot of bubbles. Let's torch it. All right. I'm gonna put a little paint around my edges while this does its thing. Psychedelic. That's what this screams to me. Just complete psychedelic painting. <laughs> Wonder if I should spin a bit first. Might help me decide. Also helps bring up more, more bubbles. palette knife. I have um, Amsterdam Prussian Blue Thalo. This is my CA mixed with Australian Floetrol. My ratio is four to one. Four parts Australian Floetrol to one part um, paint. This is Amsterdam titanium white mixed 50 50 with Atelier. Um, titanium white again mixed at a ratio of four to one. Hmm. I think I'm going to start in here. In here? Just in here. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do the same in over here. Look at those cells, wow. I'm gonna do this the other way now. I'm gonna do blue down first, and then drizzle a little bit of white on here, and I'm gonna go in here. This is fun, gotta say. How much fun is this? Woo! I'm gonna have to go. I'm just gonna have to keep going. Oh, I like the, I think I like the dark first with the white on top. In through here, here we go. Okay, 
that swipe in there didn't work quite as well as I hoped. Just try again. I think a lot of this is going to end up off my canvas. So I think I'm going to stop right now, give her a spin, and assess. Wow. First, let's just bring you in so you can see some of these cells. To the back. <laughs> right? These cells are really cool. Oh, I'm losing a whole bunch over here. Bummer. I'm gonna need to get that white bit off. So those cells will probably go. So I should maybe put some in there. And maybe a few here. All right, I got a plan, I got a plan. Trying to decide where to go. It's hard. That makes me feel happier. Just wanted to soften those hard lines. All right, let's spin. You can see it is getting muddy as the paint comes off. I'm liking this. Let me see how much paint is left in my middle. Not very much. So I should be pretty good. Give this a final torch and I will bring you all in.
I actually quite like this. Here we go. So sorry for the glare, first of all. Maybe I can move back and kind of move in this way, but look at those cells there. These ones here, move it around. And you can see that shimmer in there. Sorry about that light. It is just following me around. Look at those cells. And look in there, all those layers. Let me see if I can move this. There. It's better. <laughs> look at those cute ones. Definitely a, a different type of piece, that's for sure. All right, let me move my light out that way and there you have it what do you think it's definitely different